Poser is a well-known 3D character software that has been around for decades. It is used by digital artists, illustrators, and hobbyists who want to create scenes with human figures and other characters without having to model everything from scratch. The software comes with a library of ready-made content, but this video is about Poser 14, the latest released version of the software. You see, Poser 14 introduces some exciting tools, which can help you make the creative process easier. And one of the headline features is the return of a simpler material tab, which helps you apply textures and materials. So now, you can set up realistic PBR materials with a drag and drop simplicity, which means you will just have to import your texture map. For example, you can bring your textures and materials from Substance, and Poser will take care of the rest. Another welcome addition is the simple background tab for scene backgrounds. It gives you four straightforward options, like a solid color, an image, a movie, or an HDR environment to set up as your backdrop, with real-time previews for HDR lighting, so you can instantly get the mood right, you know. Poser 14 doesn't reinvent the wheel, but I think it delivers a smooth and a more intuitive workflow, which I think long-time users will appreciate. The interface feels a bit more polished and tidier, helping you stay in the creative flow, there are also plenty of under-the-hood fixes, in addition to some quality-of-life improvements, which are carried over the previous updates. I can mention, for example, setting up scene backgrounds, which is now easier. And the material room has seen a bunch of tweaks, which makes applying and editing materials less of a hassle. Poso 14 also comes with a new default starter scene, which is good, especially for beginners. So, if you're new to Poser, you will be greeted with a useful setup that helps you dive in. And I think all of these little improvements can really add up and help the experience become better, especially compared to the previous versions. This version also brings some notable tech updates under the hood. For example, the Superfly Render Engine, I mean in this version Poser 14, has been upgraded to the latest stable version of Cycles, which is the same render engine found in Blender which means you will see more realistic lighting and shadows and better overall render performance. To save you time, Poser now enables an AI-powered denoiser by default, so your final images come out cleaner with shorter render times. There is also a big quality of life boost for anyone who does high-quality renders. So if you work across different programs, you will be happy to know that Poser 14 added support for modern 3D formats, so you can now import and export GLTF and GBI format and they have brought back the FBX and Colada export options as well. This makes it easier to move your character and scenes into a game engine or maybe other 3D software. And by the way, hardware support got a bump too. Puzzle 14 plays nicely with the latest graphic cards, including VDR DX with optics acceleration, and even Intel's new ARC GPUs. One big change in Puzzle 14 is actually it is now currently a Windows-only release. The developers decided to focus on the platform with the biggest number of users, so in Poser 14, there is no Mac version, at least at launch. Which means Mac users or anyone relying on the old cloth simulation features will need to stick to Poser 13, at least for now. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.